We've all been there. You're on phase seven of Zami, and the attack is flying at you at Mach 20. You know without a doubt that it is going to kill you. The one you're looking at right now is 100,000 damage that is going to connect directly with my face. Except it's not, because with the new Ring of Death, you can just tank 100,000 damage, like it was nothing. The Ring of Death has found its way back into the RuneScape PVM meta, and it's better than ever before. With the Death Cost rework coming out in early January 2023, the Ring of Death has just received what I would call an absolutely massive buff, and I've tested it out thoroughly in this video so that you don't have to. Instead of saving you on death cost, which is what it did before, the Ring of Death now stops you from dying completely. When equipped, if you are to die, you'll be instantly resurrected at full HP at whatever adrenaline and cooldowns you had before you died, and it activates before a sign of life. After activating, a damage over time or dot effect will be placed on you for the next three minutes that continues to build over the three minute period. The hits start really, really small, and they ramp up fairly quickly. After three minutes pass, the ring goes on cooldown for three more minutes, at which point it can activate again and save you again, which basically means you can die every six minutes without having to restart a boss fight. In this example, I went to Duo Angel of Death and we messed up the phasing. Normally at this point in a duo, you have to teleport out and restart. But instead of doing that, we just threw on our Ring of Deaths, they activated, and we were able to continue the fight. And in one of the kills we did later on, I was actually saved twice in one kill, which is a skill issue, but is also a showcase of how strong the Ring of Death really is. One of the more interesting parts about the Ring of Death is that the damage over time effect also clears as soon as you enter a safe zone, which means upon activating it, you have to make a decision. Do you want to try to finish the kill and tank that extra damage, or would you want to teleport out and try again? To help you make that decision, here's a bit of math. The damage taken can be reduced by a number of things, but if you weren't to reduce it at all, the amount of damage you take in the 3 minute period is 75,000, spread out over 150 small hits, which means the average hit taken is 500 damage. It gets a little more interesting when things like the Hellhound and Animate Dead come into play, because with all of those buffs in place, the damage you take is closer to 25,000, and it can be reduced past that with defensive abilities as well. Here's a clip of me tanking the normal damage at hard mode care pack with no reductions. As you can see, at the start, it's barely even noticeable, and you can very easily make up for the damage taken just with some soul splits. Towards the end of the three minute effect, the damage is a little more extreme, and at that point, you may actually have to change up your rotation a little bit and play a little more defensive. And here's what it looks like in a magic tank setup. <laughs> the damage taken is barely noticeable. Now that we know what the new Ring of Death does, let's talk about when you'd actually want to use it. If you're learning a new boss, or you just hate dying, it's probably worth camping this ring. It's less damage output than a Reaver's Ring, but if you're prone to mistakes, the effect is ridiculously strong. If you're at a streak boss like Telos and Archglacer, where you aren't allowed to teleport out, it's probably worth keeping in your invent, so that if you happen to sign, you can throw it on and make sure you don't lose your streak if you make another mistake. And at a boss like Zamorak, where the most difficult phase is right at the end of the kill, it is almost a no-brainer to throw it in your preset. In this clip, I'm tanking a maxed out 100,000 damage bomb in a solo without a sign of life. This shows that with the Ring of Death in its current form, P7 Zamorak is 100% completable, even at an enrage of 60,000. It would take a lot of cycles, but we've now outpower crept the boss's insane bomb attack. This is also a pretty clever use of stat debuffs and defensive abilities, but far more importantly, and shining through that final 100,000 damage hit, is the Ring of Death that activates and saves my sign. The Ring of Death also works on Hardcore Iron Man mode, which is absolutely crazy to me. And it works for the Calphite King Green too. And one that I think is even crazier than that is that it works at 1,000% in rage and above Telos, where immortality does not. The insta-kill will clear you through immortality at that enrage, but it will not clear you through a ring of death, which is an absolute game changer if you're into that sort of thing. So anyway, I'm going to pass the question off to you guys. Are you going to start using this thing? For me personally, it's made its way into a lot of my presets. With that said, thank you so much for watching, and happy PVMing. And as always, if they make any changes to the ring of death post-release, I'll make sure it's in the pinned comment. Take care, everybody.